Good morning. Today we are going to continue talking about creating a strategic plan. Strategic planning determines the stakeholders' expectations and requirements as well. As part of the management system, it is important to develop a balanced scorecard. And when developing a balanced scorecard, there are two important questions to ask. First, ask what evidence would convince you that the school district is accomplishing its mission and learning targets. Second, how will the Board of Education and the departments within the central office or schools know when they have met or exceeded what stakeholders want accomplished? Identifying the evidence and quality levels that would satisfy different stakeholders' expectations would give leaders, managers, and professional staff and schools clear definitions of the targets to be achieved. Educators can proudly produce outcomes we can measure, and measure accurately according to Miller. Even the most difficult to define goals or outcomes can be measured and more importantly must be measured if education is to have any credibility at all with its stakeholders. There is a need to measure our outcomes because if we don't measure it, we can't possibly value it, manage it, or improve it. All the parents and the community members say they want us to teach they value and they want us to get better at it over time. Now let's go over the measures for each of the five strategic areas. For strategic goal one, student learning, the following are the measures, cohort group mastery, adequate growth in subject areas proficiency, passing rate in all subject areas, pass percent on world-class tests for gifted students, final grade point averages, and SAT achievement trends. In addition to that, merit recognition of semi-finalists and finalists, participation in extracurricular activities, students' use of reasoning, problem-solving and critical thinking tools, community service, and student exit rates from special education and English language learning. As for strategic goal 2, stakeholder satisfaction, the following are some basic measures. Student satisfaction survey and positive overall trends, student enthusiasm for learning, student dropout and attendance, staff, parents, and community satisfaction, employers and alumni positive trends, student satisfaction on guidance and counseling. Students, parents, and staff satisfaction on bullying and or harassment, accident rates and perception of overall safety, Satisfaction with communication, community education, participation trends. For strategic goal three, employee development, the basic measures are the following. Compensation claims rate, staff turnover, labor grievance to arbitration rates, new employee orientation satisfaction rates, employee participation rates in professional growth and training activities, staff exit questionnaire satisfaction. It also includes the numbers of national board certified teachers, attrition of first year teachers, professional training offerings per year, percentage of job openings filled by internal applicants, staff perception, working conditions, and salary. 
as for strategic goal 4 support systems the following are the basic measures efficiency of special education and english language learning programs efficiency on student transportation curriculum development cycle and conformity to requirements student and staff satisfaction with instructional technology purchase order cycle efficiency of copier operations department cycle time reduction trends and cost saving by process it also includes process stability and capability network reliability tech user satisfaction trends and service cycle time from first call to final resolution custodial services purchase order turnaround time food handling inspection ratings and student satisfaction with the quality of food and offerings as for strategic goal 5 fiscal responsibility the following are measured budget and vote plurality trends analysis of annual cost per pupil instructional expenditures individual program expenditures as percent of budget tax rate and state revenue trends cost per percentage of student performance on state tests awards or ratings by external review of annual budget and financial reports it also includes the following monthly fund balances percent of support for bond issue election and bond ratings teacher pupil ration energy containment and recycling growth trends and inventory control accuracy and cost containment on the other hand the following are difficult to measure but rubrics were given to assess them they are modeling honesty and integrity possesses the skills to manage and resolve conflict work habits and ethics make healthy and safe life choices explore understand and value the fine and practical arts courageously identify and pursue their personal goals also respect for people property and authority exercise good stewardship of the environment be able to contribute effectively within a learning group of students protect others health and safety skills in problem solving and critical thinking time management know and practice the duties responsibilities and rights of citizenship in a democratic society be respectful and contributing participants in their school community country and the world understand the purpose role and means of interaction with the different levels of government the development of the balanced scorecard based on the strategic goals and objectives is the last component and will become part of the strategic plan it ensures that everyone understands the amount of progress that needs to be accomplished in order for the mission vision and five strategic goals to be achieved it is a very useful self-assessment of your measurement system because if it is not optimized your decision making can't be either once the measure is agreed upon create an operational definition of the measure when talking about deployment this refers to the execution of the strategic plan by the school leaders it is the responsibility of the division and school leaders to deploy the mission vision student learning targets and strategic goals this means that they have to be strategy focused 
so they could deploy the strategies well. Deployment makes the plan more than just orders. These were cultural norms and processes are confronted and Strategies have to be translated into action. Everyone talks about systems, but few actually define them and use systems analysis for decision making and improvement. This is Abigail Padre Simbre. Thank you for listening.